so in this video we're going to build this video card component okay so this is the component we're going to design so and you know the drill what we have to do simply create a folder we'll call it video and we have to create the gsx file we have to create the css file module.css and type rafce and we have to import the css file so internal import import style and that's coming from the same directory so we have the CSS file now let's come back to the component index and here we need to import that file so we'll say import video from dot slash video and we have to export this one come here and export this file close this one and go to this index page and here we need to import that file and let's come here here we have to import so we have the video component as well close that one and let's come here let's import couple of things from react so we need the images let's come down we have to import the images all the images which is inside this images folder now remove this one and let's make it instant return we'll have a div it will have a class called style video and that will have another div it will have a class called style video box give this space inside that we're going to have this h1 we'll call it span let's come back here copy this icon and simply paste here and let's come here and call the video the video okay let's come down come back here copy those text and paste here and that's what we have now let's come down we'll take a div it will have a class call let's say style dot video box frame and in that we're going to have another div it will call style dot video frame left and that will have the image okay and you might be noticed that this is a video component but why we are using image because we're going to build the entire layout okay we are not going to design the video component itself because that will take a lot of time that's a huge component because there we have to do a lot of things we have to design the all the functionality play and pause and we have to upload the video from the server okay so when we get the data from the api on that time we're going to design this component so right now we are just building the layout once we have the data we can easily able to remove this image and we can add a video frame okay so i'm just taking this image and building the layout in this video okay so let's add a source image and we have the image inside this so this is the image drag and drop here and simply come here and simply import the image first so let's call it nft video and that's we have video png and that's what we have to export here so that's we can get the image and let's call the image let's assign the all tag so we'll call it video image and we have to assign the width so width is going to be let's say like 19020 and let's say this one is going to be object fit cover so this is the setup we are doing okay this is the exact video frame when we get the video okay so we are just building the frame so let's come down we'll have another div it will have a class called style video box frame left we'll call it right and this will have a simple let's type high okay so that's what we have here so let's save it come back to the css file and let's restart the application so type npm run dev and click on this open the application on the browser and you can see here everything is looking good so we have the title we have the paragraph and we have the image and we have the high okay so now let's get styling this so we'll target the video we'll save 100 percent width we'll say margin top is going to be 14 ram and margin bottom is going to be 5 ram so we'll have a good amount of space let's come down we're going to add a video box and font size is going to be 3 ram and let's come down target the line height is going to be let's say one and video video box paragraph is going to be font size 1.3 ram and width is going to be 40 percent line height is going to be 1.2 ram so a little small and that's look good let's come down we'll target the video box frame and we'll say display is going to be great great template column repeat 8 1 fr and we'll say gap is going to be 1 ram padding is going to be 5 ram 
margin top is going to be 6 RAM so that's look good we'll come here we'll target the video box frame and we'll say left grid column 1 slash 8 and grid row is going to be 1 slash minus 1 to the end so here we have the images now let's come down we target the frame left image and border radius is going to be 1 RAM so it's gonna be copy and simply come back here we don't have the class let's assign the class so we'll have that frame left image save it we are getting the styling so let's come down we'll target the video box frame and it's gonna be a right section we need to assign the grid so 3 and minus 1 to the end and it will have a background color to our let's say icon color so icon color we have we have to assign the border radius to be 1 RAM and grid row is going to be let's say 1 and all the way to end okay save it padding is going to be 3 RAM and 0 RAM and margin top is going to be minus 40 minus 5 RAM okay and we'll say box shadow is going to be var box shadow okay so let's save it this is how it will look you can see our frame is looking good and let's add a media query so we'll say max width is going to be 35 em we'll say width is going to be 90 percent and we'll target the box frame padding is going to be zero so that's how it will look let's come down we'll target the video box frame right and we'll say margin top is going to be minus two ram and box p well, target the width is going to be 100% on a mobile device. So that looks good. Okay, let's come here, target the box H1 and let's say font size is going to be 2 RAM. So it's small. Looking better. Let's come up here and what we can do here, we can make the change here. Okay, let's type H1. So that's for the big device and now let's start box width and width is going to be 80 percent and margin zero and auto so this will hold the entire div into the center okay so it's look perfect let's make on a full screen and that's looking absolutely great 100 percent responsive so right now we have just designed the frame of our video okay so in this image section we're going to display the video and we're going to include all the functionality okay once we have the data from the api okay so that's looking great we have the frame is ready and things are looking pretty good impressive so so this is the discovery section help sections notifications and no breaking changes have done now this is our big slider we can slide it this is the card sections looking absolutely let's click on the tab working absolutely fine this is our slider we can easily be able to slide both the sides and on the click event as well so working fine this is the tab we have this is the filter component we have open close and we can like it and like it so that's look good here is the set. so let's do the inspect element and let's have a look on a mobile device so with this finally we have completed the entire home page of our nft marketplace okay so let's have a quick overview that what we have built so far and what are the components we have built because trust me if you have coded along with me in this entire home page you will find that when we build the other pages the entire development of other pages becomes very fast because these are the components we're going to use over and over again and we have to write very less code there okay so let's have a look so let's click on this this is how it looks this is the hero section service section and this is the slider this is our audio card working absolutely fine looking great this is a small audio card looking great we have the steps we have like unlike working fine this is the slider we have click on this we can easily able to slide the you can see it's beautiful slider we can click we can slide both side this is the collection section we have looking really good so that's what we have this is the filter section we have we can simply open close open close and this is the card icons we have okay that's looking good this is the card icon looking absolutely perfect that's look good so everything's looking perfect this is the footer section 
so in the next section we're going to build this okay we're going to start with the collection section okay so this is what we're going to design in the next okay so let's come back in the code and let's close this one and let's upload the code to get up okay let's come here open the terminal and simply stop the application from running and delete this file and just delete it delete this permanently and type get in it get at we'll come back here we're going to upload this code to get up okay simply type nft we'll call it video hit enter and we have to initialize all these commands so simply do it very fast okay now let's close this one and come back to the browser reload the browser and here you will find the entire code is uploaded to get up you can open the component and you can find that video component okay so so finally we have built the entire home page of our nft marketplace so in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit changes in our home page we're going to do the final test and we're going to check the responsiveness we're going to do the adjustment in the font family so in the next video we're going to do a couple of adjustment in the application and after that we're going to build the collection page okay so if you are following the entire playlist i really want to congratulate you that you made making a huge effort to learn this entire thing okay so in the next video we're going to do a couple of modifications and do some changes in the home page so let's move to the next video and after that we're going to build the collection page so see you there